Okay, so let me show you this project that I've been working on, and it's uh, three gauges on the display being driven by the microbit and three potentiometers. So as I turn those potentiometers around, you can see that those individual gauges are updating, and I can, of course, move all the three at the same time, but it's a little bit harder because I only have two hands. Okay, so let me tell you how this is done. So the basic base part is this microbit, and it's version 1. You can tell it by this printed logo. There is already a version 2 available. The difference is it has more sensors, and you can tell it by this logo, which is not printed. You can actually touch it. And the tech side is a little bit different. It also says version 2. But for our case, or for my case, it doesn't make any difference, because I'm just getting the values from the potentiometers, so I can use as well version 1 as well as version 2. I'm using version 1. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting those potentiometers to three analog pins, and those are pins 0, 1, and 2. If I show you the board, you can see it, it's like this, so pin 0, 1, and 2. You actually only have like five different pins for which you can get the analog values, so you don't have much choice in here. And I'm getting this value, and based on those values, I'm updating those LEDs on the board itself, so I can get I can see if everything is right even before connecting this to the display, so you can see how those bar graphs are changing with the LEDs. So the next point is the display. This is an action display, and this display already has a microcontroller in it, so the microcontroller is driving the display. It has all the images. It could also have the logic if I want to, so all it's uh, left is uh, telling the display what to display. And this is done by this connection, which is the serial connection, so from the micro bit, I'm getting the values and sending those using the serial connection to the display. So I'm not actually driving any display, any pixels. I'm only telling the display which picture to display, which picture to show. So based on the value of the first potentiometer, I will show one picture. Based on the value, I will show a second picture based on the second value, and so on and so on. You can see it's lagging a little bit. This is, I believe, that those connections are a little bit loose. Actually, I haven't talked about this board. So this board is a board how to connect the bread, sorry, the micro bit to the breadboard, and it's a very convenient way because you have access to all the pins on the breadboard, but at the same time there is also this header pin. So no, it doesn't matter if you have a female uh, wires or male wires, you can use both. Previously I was using this board, which is from Pimoroni, and don't get me wrong, I mean Pimoroni has a great products, but this one is not so great because it only has a few of the pins, and it doesn't have this header board, uh, sorry, header pens. So I'm using this one, it's, that's a little bit better. And so let me tell you one more thing, and it is the problems that I, was, that I was facing. So I started with this project and everything was working just fine, and then after some time it wasn't working at all. And I was very desperate because I didn't want what's wrong. Then I realized this display is 5 volt while the micro bit is 3.3 volt. And most of the time it works just fine. But then I switched to this battery pack, which I'm using quite a lot, so it's a battery holder for the micro bit. It's very convenient because you just connect it to this battery port, this one, and it's very small form factor, so you can you can power this micro bit. It fits to AAA batteries, works just fine. However, it wasn't working on my project because I believe that this one is not getting enough power for the transmission between the micro bit and the display. As long as I power the micro bit using the USB board, a uh, USB port, it works perfectly fine. Usually, when you combine 5 volt and 3.3 volt logic, you want to connect something in between to take care of the different voltages. I didn't want to make my project overly complicated, so I just went this with this solution using the USB port for the for the micro bit. Seems to work just fine for my case. But if you are trying something similar and you are seeing some problems, maybe this maybe this is the problem. And that's pretty much it for the overview of my project. If you want to see more in-depth and uh, detailed tutorial, let me know in the comments. And I hope to li like it. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching and bye.